Hey, what's up everybody? It's that Be More Chick and I'm about to make some fast, easy, delicious homemade biscuits. Uh, I am I grew up on my grandmother's biscuits, which she didn't take long to, to make them, but um, these days, as busy as everybody is, wouldn't it be nice to have some biscuits that you can just literally make and drop? Um, and I'm calling them my easy, fast drop biscuits. Uh, I want to thank you guys for liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, and being a friend to my channel in any way that you are. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being a friend. Um, so stick around for my easy, inexpensive, fast, delicious drop biscuit. Coming right up on this edition of That Be More Chick. Booty cooking vlog. Here comes y'all. All right, y'all, look at this. This is all that I am using. This is all that I need to make my drop biscuits. Now, I'm used to my grandmother rolling dough, making dough and all that stuff. And I have friends who are so awesome at making homemade bread and homemade biscuits. But guess what? Be more ain't got no time for that. I be trying to be in and out of the kitchen as fast as I can. And when I want some homemade bread to go with my pasta or stews or fish or, you know, whatever, chicken, whatever I'm making, I want to do it as fast as possible. They call these drop biscuits. They're very uh, old-fashioned, old-school type biscuits. If you hear someone say drop biscuits, because all you literally do is mix and drop and bake. And they are ready and they don't even have to bake for that long. So if you are <laughs> harassed for time, like I said, like most of us are, Bisquick is a good friend in the kitchen. Uh, a little 2% milk. I'm not using whole milk. I do not use whole milk. Got a little honey, a little unsalted butter, my trusty bowl, and my sheet pan. And y'all, we getting ready to go. All right, y'all, let's get to this. As soon as I start setting up this shot, I started coughing. Anyway, this is a basic recipe for these biscuits. Um, I'm making less because I'm not making biscuits like for a family, but the recipe calls for like two and a half cups of Bisquick mix and like a fourth of a cup of uh, milk. And I'm going to be eyeballing and using less than that. But this is just a, the basic recipe for this. You can add cheese. You can add garlic. Um, you could add cinnamon and brown sugar. You can kind of trick this out. Herbs and spices. You could add salsa and um, make sort of like a um, Tex-Mex type uh, biscuit. Like... It's a blank slate. So this is basically just a blank slate. But if you want some really super easy biscuits to have with dinner, this is a to a go-to recipe. So I'm just gonna eyeball a little biscuit. Like I said, the, the original recipe calls for two and a, two and a half cups of biscuit and a fourth cup of milk. Um, so I put about a cup and a half in there. Um, and I'm going to just eyeball some milk. You want it to be moist, but not like wet. And you're also not going to stir this a lot. So let's see how that goes. Um, you don't want to like stir it like that, but just kind of fold it because you want your biscuits to be really nice and fluffy. And like I said, you want it to be moist, but not soaking wet, but definitely moist enough. So I'm going to do a drop more of milk. Don't worry about if you put too much milk in because you can always add some more of the biscuit to, you know, to shore it up. So let's fold a little more. So for me, that's good. Um, 
that's very moist so I don't need any more milk the next thing I'm going to do and I told you <laughs> that's literally this is literally how easy this recipe is so the next thing I'm going to do is spray my sheet pan put that honey and butter to the side and let's start you know if you have a little scoop that's cool but I'm old school so you can make your biscuits as big or as little as you want I mean whatever size of the biscuit you want that's up to you I like something like this so I'm gonna start dropping these and also for portion control for me um, because I'm on, you know, a lower sodium lifestyle and glucose and all that carbs, um, I'm not doing a huge <clears throat> biscuit. So it looks like one, two, let's see if I can get six out of this. And my hands are clean. Um, I always say clean hands are your best kitchen tool. One of your best kitchen tools. Um, there's this movement, like, to be scared to use your hands, your clean hands. Um, if you have, you know, like, health, a health condition or something like that, um, where it would, or something is going on with your skin where it would make it not, you know, too good for you to use your, you know, just your clean hands, that's one thing, but... Um, when you, you know, just clean hands, I'm like, okay, um, I don't know, um, especially baking, so, so it looks like I've got six out of here, and I want to make sure they're even, and I want to make sure I've got every little bit all out of that bowl, so, That's good. And I should have brought my um, dish towel, but I didn't. And what I'm going to do is take, this is unsalted butter. You want to use unsalted butter um, or any type of oil that's unsalted, especially a butter, um, because these biscuits have sodium um, in them. The Bisquick mix has sodium in them. So you don't want to be adding any additional sodium with the butter. And you don't need a ton of the butter, just a little dollop on the top. Um, my oven is preheated to 450 degrees. I believe it's 400 or 450. I'll check it. Um, but and that's it. Um, these biscuits are ready for my oven. All right, y'all, in this oven, 450 degrees, uh, eight to 10 minutes, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, this is my oven cam. Yeah, I'm calling it my oven cam. And I got those biscuits in there broil on broil. And I'm getting ready to take them out right now. All right, y'all, these biscuits is out of the oven. They are out of the oven. Uh, I had them on broil. They got nice and golden brown. And I'm going to tell you what I do for mine. Um, I do 425 to 450. Um, and I do about six minutes. Six or six and a half minutes. And then on the seventh minute, uh, I turn my oven to broil and I let these uh, these biscuits get nice and brown on top like this. If you don't do broil, um, a lot of times they don't get as brown as this on top. And I love my biscuits to be nice and golden brown like this. So adjust for your oven. That's, that's the thing. You have to adjust for your oven. Um, like I said, between 8 to 10 minutes. But like at the six minute mark, check them. And then if you want them to be nice and golden like this, 
make sure that at about the six uh, and a half to seven minute mark you um, turn your oven to broil and start broiling these biscuits um, and what I do like to do is um, when they come out of the oven I'm being lazy this time. I'm just touching them up with butter. I like to add a little extra butter. Usually I'll take my knife and do it, but for this, um, you know, I'm impatient. Um, and I want to do this fast. So I will just make them sparkle and glisten like this at the top. Look at that. Hot buttery quick and how long did it take not even I mean not even the whole 10 minutes really not really um, but at least 10 minutes um, for these delicious drop biscuits yum we'll let these cool off um, I usually will do a little wire rack and these drop biscuits um, are more so like a, a, a cross between bread and biscuits so all right I'm gonna let these cool off Look at those drop, easy, fast, inexpensive drop biscuits, y'all. Yum. Yeah.